This week's episode is dedicated to the memory of Rafael Los Muertos. R.I.P., buddy. Wherever you are, I hope you found peace and a place with less stabbings. Tonight on Prison and Politics, how will penal life change now that it's legal to sell toilet wine? Welcome to Prison and Politics. I am your host, former journalist and disgraced senator, Ethan Samuelson. And joining me tonight for a panel discussion are toilet wine mogul, 8-Ball Chris. Thanks for having me. Craft brewer, brother Drillbit Saeed. Assalamu alaikum. And consumer and connoisseur of homemade alcoholic beverages, Burlington Bill. <laughs> Pleasure. Now my first question is for Chris. How does the conglomerate of the Aryan Nation, Tri-City Skins, and Heritage Front feel about these new, more lax regulations about where we can buy and sell toilet-stilled alcohols? Well, obviously we don't like the implications. Mm. I mean, we spent decades behind bars perfecting our techniques of fermenting gummy bears and fruit cocktail, all in our stainless steel septic tanks. Well, that's true. You do have a recipe that's been handed down through generations of inmates. And to be honest, I just don't trust any alcoholic product produced in the nation of Islam. Now, wait a minute. That's not fair. Well, it's worth bringing up. The Quran does forbid you from drinking alcohol. How can you be selling it? Well, we're not allowed to kill people either. But why don't you ask Rafael Los Muertos how that worked out for him? Okay, we're missing an important element here. I mean, for years as consumers, this controlled market has forced us to choke down product that, quite frankly, feels as if it's been watered down by tank spill-off. That is just not true. Uh, uh, opening up toilet wine sales to other parts of the prison just allows us to have access to small batches and more artisanal varieties. I interesting. Would you care to elaborate? Not really. It's kind of the whole argument. Yeah, what else did you expect us to say during this debate? Uh, pretty clear what our positions are. Seriously, why are we all here in the same place? I don't know, no reason. Wait a minute. The warden didn't actually approve of toilet wine sales, did he? You wearing a wire? I mean, we're all mic'd, there, there's a camera. I... When we come back, I will not be here because I just cut a deal with the warden to keep you all here while the guards did a sweep of yourselves. You fucking snitch! See you on the other side, motherfuckers! <laughs> 